Welcome back to Trash Pound Off-Road, guys. Today we'll take a couple minutes and I'll tell you guys what I had to do in order to run those 35-inch tires on the Trash Panda. Quick refresher. Trash Panda is my 95 Geo Tracker with the uh, eight valve automatic. Um, been running it for about five or six years now. Started off on 29s and now I've made it all the way up to running 35s. Still on the stock suspension uh, in terms of IFS, but I have done some modifications to make everything fit under there. So obviously it's been cut, but we'll start with what we did in the beginning um, we went ahead and added it's hard to tell because everything's muddy but there is a body lift in here it's right there so there's a two inch body lift on this rig and then there's also a two inch spacer lift right there so we have four inches of lift just from that alone which definitely helped out um, still didn't get me what I needed so it also has four-door springs off of a 96 four-door sidekick um, that helped out give another inch or so and then those shocks right there are the I want to say E150 or F150 shocks um, that's what I needed to do to get all this to fit the first time I ran it with the 35s I had the stock leaf springs in there and it rubbed like crazy and when it flexed they fell out um, and one of my LB videos, I believe, has that story on it. So we went ahead and went to the four-door springs, and I have not had any issues whatsoever. Um, as you can tell, though, the cut. So it's huge. Um, as you can see right here, it got into the body a little bit. But what I did is I notched it, folded everything back, so as that it made a lip, because in the inside, it's right there where the wheel opening is. So, just to check things out here, from that line, we're looking at about inch and a half or so. If we go over here, look at the stock tracker, that line goes down actually four and a half inches. So that's how big that cut is. Roughly three inches worth of cut. Uh, in order to get that thing in there and now as it sits they do not rub um, very difficult to get this thing to flex and hit well, I guess they do rub when I look in here they do rub but that might have been from the first time with the other springs gosh it's been like definitely over a month since I had this thing out that's unfortunate hopefully I get this thing out this weekend so on to the front as you can see a huge cut in the front as well um, that body line is what I used to cut from. Then we just went down and went back and totally eliminated this section of the fender. So go over here, show you the stock fender, just a real quick comparison to see. That line right there is all gone. And then we cut out here like so. And then we cut back to right where this body line is and removed all that and so this is all pushed back to that point point there and we did have to do some hammering down here we hammered a little bit onto the floorboards definitely hammered right here I've actually cut these uh, nerf bars these rock ah, geez Louise I can't talk this morning I've cut those back a couple of different times because of rubbing issues As you can see, we smashed here a little bit, here a little bit. So this whole fender has been cut out. Um, as far as suspension, again, two inch body lift right there, two inch spacer lift right there. And this one here also runs uh, the same set of four door springs in the front. You can see, maybe you can see in there how far they're compressed. Um, unfortunately, that makes this thing sit a little kittywampus in the front. So, I'm going to have to 
maybe go to Bronco Two Springs and a, perhaps a front diff drop. I don't have one of those. You guys can take a look here. My angles aren't that bad. So that's on the 35s with the stock IF, uh, IFS. That is still the aluminum stock front end. I don't have an issue yet, knock on wood. Um, I'm pretty sure part of that has to do with the skid plate that has been banged all the heck. It is in bad shape. So I'm pretty sure that's what's protecting that aluminum front differential. But definitely gonna have to go to a bigger set of springs in the front there. You get a look here when I step back, you can tell, maybe you can tell, but it looks like it sits about an inch lower there in the front than it does in the back. So we're gonna have to make that adjustment here soon, but um, also one inch wheel spacers behind these rims. Don't know the offset of these rims, but behind the rims, there is a set of one inch wheel spacers. So that's how you do it guys. If you decide you wanna run 35s on your Geo Tracker, not that difficult. Um, I've been doing it, ran this thing like in this configuration for probably four or five trips now. Really like it. Um, makes the bumps seem a lot smaller and helps me keep up with uh, my buddies who are all running 38s and bigger. I do have transfer case gears that are gonna go in there to help offset those big tires. But for the most part, the kind of wheeling we do, um, I'm doing just fine. There's the uh, commuter car slash overland build. It's running 33s. Um, there's a video on how I did that on, I believe Track Kick Off-Road has it on his YouTube channel. Um, we wheel with him a lot. Um, his video shows how I got those 33s under there. Uh, basically it's two inch spacer lift, two inch body lift, some wheel spacers and some cutting. Um, and those things are running just fine under there. That's the two liter swapped one, so it doesn't even really notice those 33s. It drives like a regular car. It's, it's a great, it's wonderful. Um, okay, so as you can see, I have quite a few of these things around. Um, if you're a fan of Geo Tracker content, by all means, subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I have, the better. Um, just trying to build a community here. If you have comments or questions, post them. I will definitely do everything in my power to answer every comment that I can find. Um, just because, again, trying to build a community here. Um, look me up on Instagram, Trash Panda Off Road. It's dumping down rain. That's what happens when you live here in the Pacific Northwest.